Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dragon Geep here, and welcome back to another What If. Okay, so here it is as I, as I promised. What if Deku hated Bakugo? So, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's just get on to it. So, Bakugo kept bullying being Midoriya. Yeah, and he kept calling him names like Deku and Blit Nerd. Which is very stupid because he's the top of the class in smarts. I mean, come on, man. Anyways, but it started to go extremely bad when Izuku and Bakugo were 10. At the time, Time Bakugo go was shopping big with his mother, and it turns out that Inko go was there too, but these but Izuku was it. He decided to stay home that day. Bad timing for him. But, and as soon as they exited that, this villain came along and, uh, hold on, this villain came with a contract on Inko. Mitsuki tried to take the villain on, but was knocked out. And Bakugo go went back, went in front of Midori, of Inko, go hands behind his, behind hit him, saying. I will not let you get anywhere near him. Near her, you damn bitch. Sorry for that. Any, but anyways. The villain then said. Ah, perfect. A perfect way to test out my new Gun. You see, I've created a bullet that'll make quirks go haywire. Gear. And since you got Gear in front of my contract, I'll just make it. I'll just make it so that I didn't kill him kill her. Instead, you did. He sh and he shot Bakugo in the chest, which activated his explosion cork on accident, completely injuring, severely injuring Inko. Go. The villain then ran off. And don't worry about about that villain and the gun gun because well he's only there for that amount of time. In fact, I'm gonna make it so that he explodes right after he left. He had some trouble with his car, and bam. 
Inko is sent to the hospital. And they call the household and Izuku answers. He goes, uh, hello? What's going on? Uh, and the lady goes, excuse me, is this Izuku Midoriya? Izuku goes, yes, that's me. What's going on? She go and the lady goes, uh, I hate to say it this, but your mom is in the hospital. And I'm pretty, but don't worry, we'll send some people to, hello? Hello? And by that point, Sisuku hung up and rushed over to the hospital. As he was rushing there, he felt something pushing him even further. There, like some sort of force was doing that all on its own. But he didn't care. All he cared about was getting... Was making sure that his mother was okay. And... Now, uh... Once he gets to the hospital... Biddle. Biddle. The doc, the nurse who actually called him, him, meets him in person. Okay, and he's, and she says, oh. You made it. Do you have some type of speed quirk? Izuku says, uh, No, I have no quirk at all. And the nurse says, Then how the fuck did you get here? here th this is five miles. What the heck? It's been 10 minutes and you already ran 5 miles! But then the doc... But he didn't care at this point. Izuku then went into... Went to the front desk and said... I'm here to... I'm here about Iz Inko Midoriya, my mom. Is she alright? And the person there said, Oh, I'm sorry, but she didn't make it. She was killed when someone with an explosion quirk had trouble with his own quirk. He said something about, say, a cork hard haywiring bullet. We couldn't make sense of that. And in his head, Izuku went explosion cork. Bakugo. Why? Why the hell would he do this? Then he... He started to walk off and said, Uh, but the person in the... In the front desk said, Uh, I think you might want to stay, stay a little longer. Yeah. The way you got here makes no sense for Quirkless. We're gonna have to see if you developed a cork early. Well, not early, later. 
Izuku said. Oh, uh, okay. Then Bakugo and his mother headed head out. Baku Mitsuki rushed over to to get home. Well, she rushed out of the hospital. She called for Bakugo, but Bakugo go said, "Hold on, Hag." Sorry, Deku. There's nothing I could do. But Izuku said, Nothing you could do? Please. That was everything you could do. You could do. There's just nothing you wanted to do. Bakugo paid no attention to this. This and started to walk and walked away. But as soon as he and as he went five feet away, wait, he heard Izuku say say something that that gave him a shock in his mind. Izuku said, "Damn Pomeranian." Bakugo was shocked by this because he could have sworn it was towards him. And no, and Deku, he's never, Bedoya has never called, oops, has never called Kachan John anything other than Kachan. And to call him an insult like Pomeranian, it's just weird. But he didn't pay much mind to this. And soon enough, the doctor does a doctor does some tests with Medoya. And once the tests were over, the doctor goes over to Medoya and says, Wow. Turns out you did have a cork, but it's rather strange. Deku goes, What do you mean strange? The doctor goes, well, your cork could only manifest when something thing happened to you that's not supposed to happen to someone at your age. I guess your mother dying was just the pinpoint. Sure enough, but, but luckily, I can figure out, figure out what your cork is. I'll tell you this right now. Izuku's cork is called buff up. Basically, he can buff his, he can upgrade his speed and strength up to 10 times. It's a transformation quirk. And Sisuku says, oh, Well, I guess I'm up for adoption now since my mom's dead and my dad doesn't want me. And then, sure enough, like that chick, a guy comes up from behind behind the door and says, uh, actually, I think I might be able to help you out with that. <coughs> the doctor says, uh, oh, 
Johnny. Mr. Madoya, this is Johnny Rentpole. Well, he owns a parkour core gym, gym, and I think it would be best. And I recommended did him to you. I recommended you to him. Um, and he he thought it would be great. So here's your adopted dad. Then Jim said, "Let's go, kid. We've got a lot. We've got a lot of talking to talking to do. Then we're gonna help you out out with your quirk." And Izuku says, well, it makes sense. I mean, I've got a cork that's literally called Buff Up, and parkour is just, well, seems right. And it takes him, t- takes him two and a half, it takes him four and a half years to buff up up extremely like uh, let's let's say that if if he was in a con tat fighting contest and he was up again against Hulk and All Might at his prime and Super Saiyan God Goku. He... Deku would basically win it. Win that... Champ... Win that fight. Hands down. And at base form. And it, of course, took him a half a year to learn, 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 and master parkour. The UA entrance exam comes in. And he gets ready to go. President Mike announces it and boom. Izuku buffs his speed up to two times times and runs off destroying any robots in his path. Sure enough, boom. Zero point robot. But comes in. He wanted to go off, but Uraka was in trouble. So he rushed over, jumped, and punched the robot. By using only three times. And everyone was like, well, every pro hero was like, oh. My God, that was incredible. And sure enough, the entrance exam ended. And, sh- and about a week later, Izuku got a note for, oh God. Izuku got a note from UA Say congratulations! You passed. You're in UA now. Woohoo! And you're in first place. Then he looked at it and see and saw that in second place was Bakugo. So he said to himself, 
Well, well, well. Glad to see you. Why the hell would they want you in here? You damn Pomeranian. And that's where I'm going to leave it for now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, boom, slap that like button across the face. Catch you next time, guys. Laters.